one, a two, a one, two. Oh, okay, forget it. Dude, dude, stop, stop. There are aliens outside of our home, dude. <sighs> For real, man? No way, bro. We haven't had a moment to lose, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that alien. We're gonna get a piece of my mind. Wait, wait, what, what, what are you doing? No, bro, wait, no, go back. No! What's up you guys, Scott here from Scott Open today I'm going to be showing you the very simple tutorial on how to change the color of the sky in Adobe After Effects, so without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Open your video by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Select your clip and press Ctrl D twice to have two duplicates of the original video. Click toggle switch modes and set the bottom two layers to add. Disable the visibility to the top two layers and in the effects and presets, type in gradient. Drag four color gradient on top of the bottom layer. Change colors one, two, three, and four to any color that you want. Once you do that, make sure to keyframe all points and colors. Move about 30 frames and reposition all points to different corners of the screen and change the colors as well. Repeat this process until the end of your video. When you are finally finished, go back to the effects and presets and type hue and saturation and drag it on top of the bottom layer. Then increase the master saturation to around 60. Next add a tint to the bottom layer and change the color from white to red. Bring the amount down to 30. Re-enable the visibility to the second clip and drag tint on top of this layer as well. Once again, change map white to the color red and bring the amount down to 40%. Add a hue and saturation effect to the second layer and increase the master saturation to 88. Now re-enable the visibility to the video on the very top. Go to the effects and presets and type color key and drag it onto the first layer. Select the eyedropper tool and click on the sky in your shot. Increase the tolerance and feather it if necessary. Also, if you need to chroma any other shades of the sky, just duplicate the effect by pressing Ctrl D and select a new color using the eyedropper tool. Play the scene and watch how the sky changes colors right before your very eyes. The very last part is optional. Pre-compose all your layers by pressing Ctrl A, then Ctrl Shift C. Here we'll add a brightness and contrast effect to make the color stand out even more. Set the contrast to around 24 and bring the brightness down to negative 4. Then add a hue and saturation effect and increase the master saturation to 15. And that's it. Leave any questions in the comment section below, and if this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.